Pali word for meditation is bhavana. It means to develop. We're trying to develop good qualities in the mind as we stay with the breath. One, there's the desire to stay here. Often we're told desire is a bad thing, but it's not when you apply it to the path. If you didn't have desire to put an end to suffering and didn't have the desire to follow the path to the end of suffering, it wouldn't happen. This isn't something that just happens on its own. You have to want it to happen. You have to see in your life that you've suffered enough. You don't want to suffer more. And you also don't want to cause more suffering for others. So this is the way out, by developing these strengths in mind. Once you realize this is the way out and you want to follow it, then the next step is persistence. You really stick with it. Like right now, you're sticking with the breath. Each breath coming in, each breath going out, the mind wanders off, you bring it back. Wanders off again, you bring it back again. You don't give up. And you stay really intent on what you're doing. In other words, you pay very careful attention. It's like you're going in a house. You know there may be some mice hiding up in the attic, so you get very quiet because you want to hear the mice. In the same way with the with the breath. You want to get very quiet with the breath so you can be very observant to see what's going on in the mind. All the scurrying around that the, the mind does that creates suffering for itself. You want to see that clearly. For some of us, this is difficult. We've seen ourselves create an awful lot of suffering. We don't want to see ourselves create more suffering, but you can't put an end to it until you see it clearly. This is why we pay careful attention to the breath as well, to make it really, really comfortable, to create a, create a sense of stability, a sense of solidity in the breath, that this is a good, solid place to stay, it's a good, safe place to stay. And then the last is you use your ingenuity. You try to figure out if something's causing suffering, how can you put an end to it? As for the factors that are going to give rise to good qualities of the mind, how do you give rise to them? If the breath isn't comfortable, what can you do to change it? If it is comfortable, what can you do to keep it that way? You ask questions. You. You not only pay attention, but you're curious. You try to figure things out. This is the way it has to be with any skill. You have to want to do it, you have to stick with it, you have to pay careful attention and use your ingenuity to figure out what works and what doesn't work. And it's in this way you really do develop the good qualities of the mind, and the unskillful ones just get put off to the side. So remember, we're here to develop good things in the mind. We're not just here to watch the breath. We're here to develop good qualities in the mind as we watch the breath. Make the breath as our anchor, make the breath as our home. And this way the mindfulness and the meditation start showing results, heading in the direction we want to go. So that happiness that doesn't change, the happiness that doesn't cause any suffering to anybody else. Totally blameless. That's what we're looking for.